Welcome back, boys and girls. We are going to go over some information that we would have already learned before. Flat and solid shapes. But I still need you to put on your thinking gaps because we always need to think. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so you may remember our four focus shapes. And these shapes are known as the flat shapes also called the plane shapes. We learned about the square, the rectangle, the triangle, and the circle. Now, do you remember any of the attributes or features of these plane, also called flat shapes? Hmm, well, let me remind you. The first shape we are going to look at is the Square. The square has one, two, three, four corners, and one, two, three, four equal sides. Did you remember that? Our second shape is the rectangle. Do you remember anything about the rectangle? It does look like the square. In fact, it's a larger square. It's just really longer. And the rectangle has one, two, three, four corners, and one, two, three, four sides. Our third shape is the, ta-da, the triangle. The triangle has one, two, three corners and one, two, three sides. And our last shape, which is also our fourth shape, because we have our first, second, third, now this is our fourth shape. We are throwing in our ordinal numbers there. Is the circle. And definitely with the circle, as we can see, the circle has no corners and no sides. It goes, let me see if you remember, around and around and around and around. Now, here's our next review. These are our solid shapes. Did you remember that? I think you did. These are those shapes that are no longer flat, but they take up space. And remember, that means you can actually hold them. Our first shape is called the Great job, rectangular prism. And that particular shape reminds us of a flat shape. Can you guess? If you guess a rectangle, you are correct. Our second shape is very similar to the circle, but it's not a circle. Do you remember the name of this shape? This shape is called the sphere. Third shape. Now, I know a lot of us remember this shape because we love to put our ice cream in this. What is this shape called? Good job. This is the horn. Our fourth shape. Remember that shape that looks like a cup? If you guessed the cylinder, you are correct. Our fifth shape is that shape that looks like a tent. Any idea what that shape is called? The pyramid. And our sixth shape is that shape that looks like a box. It also looks like a lot of squares. Do you remember the name of that shape? Excellent job. 
that shape, our sixth shape, is called the Q. You are doing an excellent job. Give your brains three kisses. Can you help me find the objects that looks like these solid shapes? Let's start with this shape, the cube. Can you choose one of these objects that is shaped like the cube? Is this shaped like a cube? Is this shaped like a cube? Or is this shaped like a cube? If you chose the block, you are correct. The block is shaped exactly like the cube. Let's move to our second shape. This shape is the cone. Can you find an object that looks like the cube? If you selected this party hat, you are correct. Third, let us look at this shape. Do you remember the name of this shape? Excellent. It's called the pyramid. Can you find an object that is shaped like the pyramid? If you chose this, and the name of this is actually called a pyramid, you are correct. In our fourth shape, can you find an object that looks like the fourth shape? This one may be a little tricky, but if you look at all of the other options, you will definitely have no choice but to choose the correct shape. If you chose this object here, which is a box, you are definitely correct. Well, boys and girls, I am quite sure if you didn't know anything about shapes or if you just needed some reinforcement, you are good to go now. We have spent quite some time on solid shapes as well as plain shapes. And so we are well equipped and ready to go. Wherever you go, you may look around and you may find a shape. See you later, boys and girls, and stay safe. Until next time.